Old school custom. All right, here we are in a beautiful Arlington, Texas day. Super windy outside. We're doing several cars in a collection, so we did the photos outside. We're doing the videos inside because of the sound. Anyway, walk around and tell you about this one. This is a uh, old school custom, very cool custom. It's got a lot of neat features to it, things and surprises as we walk around. I'll tell you about them. 1941 Buick two-door convertible. Basically, it's a custom with a Carson top, so it's got a full removable hard top on it. I think there's some trim pieces that go with it, so when the top's off, it covers uh, the pockets. Big old skirts in the back. We've got actually a, uh, here's where the surprises come in, and we'll spend some time uh, inside and outside on this one. Uh, big skirts on the back. This thing's big, long, cool. If you like customs, and customs are kind of the in mode right now, and it's kind of cool. 1941 Buick Roadmaster, custom was purchased as a rust free. It was a uh, customizer named Ra uh, Ramsey did the car. Uh, he built Terry Cook's award-winning Lincoln Zephyr Scrape. Took him three years to build this car. I'm trying, I should hold back a little bit there and look at my screen. Underneath the hood is a 413 cubic inch, 375 horsepower Chrysler cro Cross Ram V8 engine. Got a torque flight transmission. It's got a really cool upholstery theme to it. It's kind of a white pearl. We get inside and the interior and dash is just super trick. A lot of custom stuff. It kind of brings in the Chrysler. So the way he came together, all the fenders have been molded to the body. Huge, looks like appears to be handmade skirts on it. The trim's beautiful on the side. It's finished in a dark royal blue. It's non-metallic. Nice paint job. This car's been built several years and it's settled extremely well you can tell that dummy spotlight sport mirrors chop pillar i'm sure that the the pillar has been slanted back quite a bit and it's got a pretty aggressive chop to it factory cowl vent would have been there the hood i can't tell if the hood's been pancaked or not um, but it has been shaved of all of its factory trim factory grill and bright work is just beautiful bumperettes up front 41 buick Headlights have been Frenched, Frenched with uh, quartz headlights on it, blue dot, dot headlights. It's got uh, Cadillac Sombrero hubcaps. We get around back and it brings in the caddy theme. So the way these things come together on this car is kind of nice because it's got some caddy stuff for a caddy feel on a 41 Buick Custom, GM stuff. And then as you get inside, you figure out how the Chrysler came together on it. Um, just very nice. A lot of time and money goes into building a custom like this. We'll have it up on the lift here for you. Wide white, bias ply style. Notice how the fenders are, everything's brought together. Headlights are French. This is a seamless flow into the fenders. Takes a lot of hours to put something like that together. A lot of metal work. Get a dummy spotlight over here. Side trim is probably custom, I would bet. Open the door here. In here, I just didn't want to swing it too hard. It has this pearl white that matches the rooftop uh, upholstery, vertical pleats, custom made eyebrow style uh, armrest on the doors, bucket seats with a custom console, has bows in the Carson top. This top is removable. Probably just been on the car the whole time though. Most guys don't take them off. The dash has a neat flowing thing and it's custom fitted with a nice vinyl dash cover, so to speak. Get back here to the back seat. It's got a nice center. It's good four person style custom. Bet it's the only 41 Buick custom you've ever seen. Like this. Over here, the uh, console, I couldn't tell, it looks like a Mopar console. Probably is out of this, I don't know what the dash came out of, I think it's probably out of a, uh, maybe a Chrysler 300 or something. Vintage air conditioning controls there. AC vents underneath here. 
Okay, we'll get over to the other side and I'll sit down in it and kind of give you a feel. You'll see it's a Buick. Love the body lines, the way they brought all this together. It does kind of have a uh, flowing torpedo back feel to it. Cadillac taillights here back here, I believe those are 59. Power deck lid, we'll show you that throughout the video here. You can see the, re the reflections in the paint. This is a car you'd be really, uh, really fun showing up in. So look at the six pack pipes out the back here. Actually, this is the only one that's functional. The rest are just brought together on the outside. So French Caddy taillights. Look at the look on the back of this. Fuel door right here, factory fuel door. Can you imagine the time and creativity that goes into building cars like these? It's just uh, A lot of sleepless nights, that's for thinking about it, grinding away. Again, the uh, pearl white upholstery, custom stitch dash with a tunnel look and feel to it. Hopping into the space capsule here. Futuristic, I believe that's a Chrysler 300, has a push button 700, or a torque flight transmission. <laughs> Very cool. Dome light, antenna, these are all factory switches, I couldn't tell you. Rear windows, map light, those are all just factory, I couldn't tell you there. Looks like power window switches are up here, forward. Has a moon eyes tack. All right, you've heard it running stuff. We don't need to do any more that way. Give you a good feel, invite you in, hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Pause on this for a minute. All right, we have the hood up here. We're gonna share the engine compartment with you. 413 cubic inch Mopar V8 cross, cross ram dual four barrel carburetors on it. Go figure. Very cool. Torque flight automatic transmission, uh, factory style rear differential. It has a uh, vintage air conditioning. It has rack and pinion power steering. It has dual AF Carter AFBs or Edelbrock carburetors on it with finned uh, air filter housings on them, mini housings. This hood automatically comes up and down. We probably have already shown you that. If not, we will. Aluminum radiator with electric cooling fan. Here's a coolant recovery. Cross Ram 413 cubic inch Chrysler. We get to the inside, you've already seen that with a Chrysler dash. This is a perfect match. Anyway, bottom side of the hood. Thanks for listening to me. Hang on to the end of the video. Okay, we're gonna close the hood. The big old hood. The wind knocking at the door. All right, we'll give you a quick view of the trunk here. Vertically pleated, just like the interior, kind of the uh, pearl white interior. Royal blue carpet matches the car nicely. Okay, he's gonna lower the trunk. All right, we got the 41 Buick convertible custom up on the lift here for you. Share the undercarriage. Overall, very solid car. We've studied it good. We've taken some photos at Spud's Garage. You'll see where our, a small repair there on the uh, 
left rear quarter floor pans look all original on this car nice custom exhaust there's a microelectric fuel pump to help it start get fuel up to the carbs as uh, MagnaFlow mufflers has a cool sound to it you've heard it run already exhaust goes through the frame factory uh, X member chassis uh, up into the rockers they've had some minor repairs so full frame car body mounts are up high here so but there is some rust that's been repaired on the rockers it's probably been done a lot of years nothing major typical I would say they have a tendency to retain dirt up in those uh, lower braces but they are not uh, the body sits on the floor pans and on the rockers and I don't feel it's structural and it doesn't hasn't been this way a lot of years up here same thing this rocker little repair there see the rocker where it's had some rust but it's somebody's addressed it not all of it but most of it floor pans themselves like I talked about appear to be all original overall nice solid car I'd say just full disclosure as uh, they went through the frame with the exhaust there like I talked about that's nice we'll go to the outside of the rockers too for you has an updated power rack and pinion steering rear steer behind the front uh, control arms you'll see up in here it's nice and solid it's an old car outer rockers look like they're completely uh, we'll get up we'll go out there bottom side of the uh, transmission and the engine you'll see the rack and pinion there custom it's the kind of car you cruise with Got a car you can drive too. No airbags to contend with. We'll get out in the rockers and share the outside of the rockers. Okay, you'll see where they've done outside the rockers from the outside. All look good. They've done outer rocker repair. Trim fits nice. We'll get around to the other side. Those are bias ply white white walls. Paint and body on this car is very nice. Again, some outer rocker repair. There you have it. Go to spudsgarage.com. More photos.